Hello and welcome to Kyalagra Market, our daily program on Nifty, USD, NR and Bank Nifty. What do we do here? We look at charts, we look at open interest data, we look at FII, DII statistics and we try to form an informed opinion on what the market is most likely to do tomorrow. We also try to find how do we react to certain things which the market is going to throw at us. So on that note, let's jump right into our analysis. This is our Nifty chart. Yesterday we had said that Nifty presents a buy on dip opportunity which is kind of true. We also talked about how 17200 is likely to be a support. That's also playing out very nicely. Today, if you ask me, on all counts, it looks like market will go up further. On, on Let's say on most counts, right? Let me not say on all counts. because That's a very drastic thing to say. Very, very highly likely that market is going to be on an uptrend till at least this. Now, if it's so much, it will be more than this, right? So, my, my target for Nifty is still the top of this channel. It's probably going to hit 17,600 to 17,700 zone. Uh, I don't know if it is going to hit like this or is it going to hit like down and then back. But that zone is going to be highly likely tested. And it will come from one or then it will come from one or then it But the chances is very very high. Right? That is point number one. Now, again, why do I say that? Because Nifty is forming strong candle patterns on nifty daily nifty weekly nifty monthly all time frames right and monthly is forming a bullish engulfing and unless we see something really drastic if monthly gives a positive close there is likely that we'll see another positive candle uh, so uh, that is nifty charts now let's look at nifty open interest so today there were some issues with nse servers uh, because of which we were not able to get uh, the snapshot data for open interest uh, it happened to several others uh, like us who are working with one minute snapshot data for this particular feature so we use live quotes from brokers but for these charts we use one minute snapshot because open interest updates only once in three minutes right so there's no real time on open interest but apparently that server had some issues and it's going on NSE told us we are not the only ones many people are affected but anyway we were able to fix the 7 30 p.m uh, chart so this is what it looks like today a lot of people sold, sold calls especially at higher levels and now the option chain looks like this 17200 is still a very very firm support uh, there's no question on that uh, but 17500 is kind of emerging like a mild resistance right so let's write that 17200 is a support 17500 is a resistance pcr 1.4 bullish now comes the interesting part, FIDI data. FIDI data is confusing because yesterday this was what it looks like. Today this is what it looks like. Even now there are more calls than puts. But today they bought 60,000 quantities of put options which is making me wonder what is happening. Also they sorted 2700 crore quantity of uh, index futures which is also a little suspicious. Uh, stocks of course they bought 1000 crores, it's okay. So FI option data is... Uh, 60k puts buy very very important 60k is a lot uh, futures data 2700 crores sells is by sorry it's not mild bearish it is strong bearish and 800 crore buy is mild bullish right so my verdict is that i am a little confused here because it's conflicting signal so chart is saying buy option chain is saying buy at 17200 but fi is uh, saying sell right because on option data and futures data FI data is negative so I am guessing that there is going to be some volatility at here at this level maybe 100 points maybe 200 points maybe more so my my strategy now would be I probably think of buying on dips around 17200 zone but I won't go overboard because this is not clean right because if you look at all our analysis earlier everything was clean because uh, so, if you see FOMC time, you will see that uh, after 16800, it was a clean bullish breakout. Again, after 16800, it was a clean bullish move. If 17000 broke, it was a clean bullish move. Uh, on 30th July, again, it was a clean bullish move. On 2nd August, which is yesterday, sorry, on, on our last analysis, this is not 30th July, yesterday's analysis was showing a clean bullish move but or at least a buy on dips move but today it's not that straightforward right so i should probably rename this this is 2nd august this is 3rd august sorry 
this is not that clean you can probably think of buying or dips around 7200 because of that options put options built up there but if it breaks you have to rethink the strategy so this is if you ask me like Raj is saying obviously this looks like a short term reversal it's a violent short term reversal uh, but in the true spirit of technical analysis we should not be predicting what will happen here right we, sh we cannot predict ki yaar yaha pe kya hoga wo predict karne wale hum koi nahi hote yaha pe yaha tak jane ki chance hai once it goes to 17700 then we will think okay what next right so if it goes to 17700 and it breaks of course it can go all the way to 18600 again which is the previous all time high but there's a very high chance that given there is a trending sorry trend line here we might see a short term top around 7600 and uh, you know the reason why i'm so doubtful about such a high up move is <coughs> yeah this is one of the biggest monthly candles uh, in recent times right you in the sense that the trend overall is down right why do i say that because lower highs and lower lows so if you look at this channel nothing has changed it is lower highs and lower lows and you can't say that boss here and go up when it goes we can think of okay trend has reversed and then buy on dips but even now as we speak it is lower highs and lower lows so technically technically the trend is still down in a uh, one year time frame right so i would say ki yaar yaha pe it makes might make sense if we find a reversal candle formation to start building short positions but shorting here might not make sense you have to wait for the opportunity short once it reaches here it is definitely a short by here i mean 7600 7700 zone and if it breaks this trend line you should definitely get out of your shorts and try to be long but right now the market is not the place to short so what is my strategy see if you don't want to play for this last leg right the last leg of 300 points it's completely fine if you want to play it you can play with light positions but if you think that ki yaar last 300 points ke liye risk uthana is not a good thing and it you need not right because if you have been following this probably we, you would have been long at 16800 right so at 16800 if you have been long you would have uh, captured almost 500 points now right now last ka 300 if you want you can with risk limited spreads or something like that or even buy call options but i probably would say that you have to keep positions light because this is the last link right but at 16700 7600 odd zones start paying attention to negative price action and you have to rethink your strategy okay that is one now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty is very clean i mean there's nothing here right this is going one way up up anyway usd inr is going to be fairly interesting because i have a feeling the uh, feeling here yeah, but feel karne ke liye, i'm nobody right because um forget this right all i'm saying is that there's a 50 dma which is getting tested today there is a 100 dma somewhere around 77 half zones uh, see as of now dollar is just plunging i get that and you should not try to catch a falling knife but dollar might present you interesting opportunities to long once you find consolidation and reversal pattern see as long as the trend is uh, down you should probably be shorting calls selling futures etc etc or even buying puts but there comes a point where you have to be little careful also there's obviously the rbi event lined up that is going to severely affect dollar of course it is going to affect nifty also so please be careful around that right uh last thing multi multi strike oi which somebody was pointing who was pointing out akshay akshay thank you for reminding this multi strike oh oh this is the nsc thing again yeah the the call options of 17300 suddenly plunged again we were getting intermittent data throughout the day which is why it is looking this weird so yeah I, I think I'm forced to say that there was a sudden dip in call options of 17300 towards the end of the day. So I would suspect. So, but then I, I don't want to commit to this because today NSC servers have been having connectivity issues on the snapshot all day long. But if this uh, the graph is right, which it might be true, then we have to assume that 17700 had unwinding towards EOD, which is logical, right? Because 
last may nifty just went up so i don't think there is much to infer from this chart but largely my view is that it's not it's nifty is towards its last leg of upward journey interesting things can happen from here on okay so uh, yeah uh, bank nifty with a kuch nahi badla yaar bank nifty is looking up up and away somebody is asking what about bank nifty and the thing is this right ultimately if i were to pick one thing to trade uh, between big nifty and bank nifty i'll pick nifty any day because more reliable data fi data uh, oi option chain everything is more believable on nifty bank nifty is thoda see first of all bank nifty is not even an index right i mean 40% of it comes from two stocks how can you call that an index it's not an index it's a, and and the remaining 60% maybe majority comes from private bank stocks which are highly correlated like see hdfc hdfc bank is basically bank nifty now what is remaining icici access kotak which is also highly correlated right so it's it's practically punting on three four stocks so i'm not sure if i'm a fan of trading bank nifty as an index of course you can trade trade it as two three private banks ka basket but they are all highly correlated so i wouldn't really want to get into this uh, now the last thing of course is ivs are let's see where ivs are one last point open it so let's go to option chain quickly because i don't usually do that i'm look, doing it simply because i want to see the price of options so india vix is up one point atm iv is up one point uh but let's see right if you buy a straddle uh, uh straddle is almost worth 200 rupees uh, rbi event 200 rupees why not it looks like straddles are cheap right for 200 rupees you can get an atm straddle i would call that cheap if tomorrow morning if you are picking up a straddle for under 180 rupees uh then one person move idhar ya udhar you are going to break even i think ivs are a little low for the rbi event that is lined up so even straddle you can try iron condor you can try right you can do the long iron condor so what is long long iron condor strategy builder so here is an interesting trade if you are bored just for you know entertainment purpose everybody says educational purpose i'm going to go with entertainment purpose so yeah look at this right um if you do a long iron condor uh, let's not let's not do iron butterfly long iron butterfly right yeah long iron butterfly you're going to break even at just uh 30, 75 basis points right 0.75% yeah if you think that rbi move is going to give you at least this much of a move then uh, long iron condor makes sense right so probably yeah if you're really bored you can try this for fun uh highly unlikely that uh, rbi ka news aayega aur yahi pe atak jayega right your so if you think there's an 800 point move ka scope idhar ya udhar you can do it for fun right i mean but anyway uh, uh vishesh is making a good point there's bearish harami on nifty future charts that is true vishesh that is very true nifty future chart is indeed showing a bearish harami uh but again like i said uh conflicting signals so let's let's look at the vishesh ka chart also this is the future right snp crx nifty 50 futures yeah this is not a bearish harami classic i'll tell you why this is at best a harami cross it would have been a bearish harami if this was a red body but this is a green body so i don't want to go with the harami hypothesis for this if it would have been very nice if it was a red body but a green body pe it's a harami cross and not really a as the shake is shake sahil is asking do you watch current news of china usually yaar टेंशन चाइना और यूएस को लेने दो ना आप क्यों टेंशन ले रहे हो मतलब जो भी है चार्ट में देख रहे हैं इट्स नॉट लाइक आई मीन सी थिंक अबाउट इट राइट यूक्रेन रशिया कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज आल्सो हैपनिंग बट व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस इन मीन मार्केट रैली बिकॉज़ मार्केट वांट्स टू रैली राइट आइडियली दिस इज नॉट रियली अ ट्रेड जोन यू कैन चिल बट यू कैन ऑब्वियसली डू सम एंटरटेनमेंट सी लाइक एवरीबॉडी सेज राइट दिस थिंग ओनली फॉर एजुकेशनल पर्पसेस यू कैन आल्सो से इट ओनली फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट पर्पसेस बट एनीवे दिस इज माय view for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not you know uh, tips or recommendation or anything uh, please do your own research please uh, keep your uh, risks controlled and managed so i'll see you again tomorrow uh, thanks guys for joining as usual please take care and keep your capital safe bye